Welcome back. I thought it would be fun to make some resin gummy bears. I found this chocolate candy mold on Amazon.com. This mold makes the perfect size gummy bear that reminds me of the snacks from when I was a kid. I will list all of the products I am using in the description box below so you can also try this project. Let me know in the comments below if you have made these resin gummy bears and how you would use them in a project. I would love to hear your ideas. I have pre-mixed my resin and added in some alcohol ink to tint it. I decided to use a pink color, a blue color, a green color, and a purple color. With my stir stick, I am filling the small cavities in the mold. It did get a little messy, and I'm trying to clean up as I go. Previously, I tried to fill these molds by pinching the Dixie cup at the top to make a spout and pouring the resin into the mold, but that did not work out very well at all. It was too hard to control the resin, and I ended up overfilling each cavity. I am only filling the cavities up about halfway. I will let them cure several hours until it has gelled hard and then I will add the pin backing and fill the remaining space with clear resin. This mold will make 50 gummy bear pins. Every couple of rows I am using a different color of tinted resin. With the excess resin, I am going to fill up some small geode molds that I have sitting around to use in future projects. Now it is time to add the pin backing. These pins are super small and I am carefully placing them in the center of each bear. This part does take some patience and some time. I will speed up the video for the placement of the remaining rows. I have mixed about an ounce of clear resin and now I am drizzling it on the back of the bears. This will secure the pin backing. It is important that the pointed part of the pin backing is sticking out from the back of the bear. The clasp needs something to grip to. Once I have filled the remaining bears, I will add some heat to help release any air bubbles. Cover the mold and then let it sit for 24 hours. Now it's the fun part. It's time to demold the bears. Since I made a little bit of a mess, I am bending the mold slightly to help release any resin that is sitting on the surface. These bears are popping out nicely. Look how cute this little guy is. I'll put the clasp on the pin back and then he's ready to go. Since this mold is really made for chocolate and candy, these bears will be a satin finish, not shiny. If I wanted them shiny, there are a few things I could do. My least favorite way is to brush on some resin and stand them on a styrofoam block so they can cure. An easier way is to use UV resin, which is a little quicker of a cure, or I can brush on some clear nail polish to give them a shine. I happen to like these as is because the candy bears when I was a kid were not shiny. They were a matte finish. I hope you have enjoyed this project idea. Let me know in the comments below if you have made gummy bear pins or if you've made other projects with these gummy bears. I would love to hear how you use these in your project. Thank you for creating with me and I'll see you in the next video.